Hey you guys, it's Rachel here with Sense of Tempo Cunny Corso. Welcome to my uh, wonderful world of trash piles. I'm cleaning up over here. I've got to, um, I got to get, I got to get uh, all this stuff cleaned up because I'm going to try to get some gravel in here before it starts raining all crazy again. Look at that. Look at her. Look at Nautica. Look at Nautica. Who does she think she is? Look at her trying to dominate. Look at her. Good girl, Nirvana. Good girl, Nirvana. I saw you. Good girl. You were going to get her. You were going to teach her a lesson. I saw it. Good girl. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Nautica. Psh, get out my trash pile. I told you. I've been telling her to stay out my trash pile. Put it down, Smurf. They keep grabbing all the dang pine cones. Y'all better quit being weird. Everything out here, man. All this dang trash. I don't know where the glass comes from. That's the, I mean, I guess I do. It's all the people that lived here before me, but still, it's upsetting. I just keep finding glass. Alrighty. <clears throat> but yeah, I've just been trying to rake up everything and get ready, fill in holes. We've had rain, and so the truck won't come and deliver the rocks until we get the, um, the, the, the soil dry, so that's part of it. Oh, but, uh, but yeah, I know I've been gone. Everybody's been wondering where I'm at. Uh, you know, I, I needed a, uh, a vacation and I didn't know that I needed it <laughs> until I took it. And, um, you know, it just happened. I don't know. I'm, I'm very much an introvert and, um, and I never really, like, like, I never really tried very hard to be, like, YouTube famous or anything. You know what I mean? I, d I very much did the minimum. And I struggled with that a lot. Like, like, I wondered if I was taking my blessings for granted by not, you know, like, writing a training book or doing more merch or do it. Like, you know how a lot of people do, right? Like, they, they really advertise the crap out of themselves. And they do, they just make a, you know, a thing about it. And I, um, and for me, I really could only ever give like the minimum, which for me, I guess is just the content. You know what I'm saying? Like I did do, you know, I did, we did do some merch, but it's just not, I don't know, man. I'm, it's like, um, psh, psh, psh. like I used to work for an internet marketing company at one time. And I had this guy that I worked with, really smart, really smart guy. And um, after we worked there, he uh, he got into search engine optimization, SEO, and he made a lot of money doing it. And <clears throat> the whole company was all about, you know, online products and stuff like that. And it just, while there's a lot of money in it and stuff, it really wasn't my passion. And I know that you shouldn't just work to do your passion but if you can and it pays the bills and you don't need to do anything more, then I guess that's kind of where I was at. And so, like, I think, watch out, hon. I think that it's like I could have done all of that, but I didn't. And, um, and I've only, I've just, I've just very much just been about the content. You know what I'm saying? And, um, and simultaneously, whenever things, whenever life comes a call and, you know, I've, I've tried to continue doing it. I really have, but, um, I really just felt, go Guinea, go away. I really just felt, you know, worn out with everything that had happened. I had just, I really been surviving since 
since like 2018, I've, I've been just hustling and bustling. You know what I mean? I, I hustled into that house that I got from, a lot of people thought it was a duplex that I lived in, but it wasn't. Psh, hey, do not grab that. Um, it was a house, but it was um, a small backyard in the suburbs. And, um, and I hustled from that into the house and that I had the acreage and, and burn it in that mobile home. And then I hustled from that over here. And, um, and I've just been working, 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 working. And on top of it, you know, I, I, um, broke up with Alex whenever I first moved from that duplex, which had been a long-term relationship for me. And then I struggled a lot with my daughter and then even now, like, you know, as you guys know, she'd moved out. She has moved back in. I think she she realized that life wasn't, um, she said it was a lot harder than she thought it was going to be. And um, and that's fine. You know what I mean? I'm not judging. I mean, we are all children. We all we all go through. It's a, it's a very normal thing. So I'm by no means judging. But it was difficult. You know, being a, being a parent is very difficult. And I think just with everything... Um, I just finally, <clears throat> I finally had just, I couldn't do anymore. I needed, I needed, if I was going to come back on here again, I needed to take time for myself and I needed to want to come back and not feel that I have to come back. <clears throat> and, um, and I know that's hard for people to understand. I know there's a lot of people that were messaging me and I didn't respond and I did get your messages and I, and I do appreciate you guys reaching out, but I really needed my, my time. I needed, I needed to not have to respond, to not have to do anything for anyone else but myself <laughs> for a little bit. You know what I mean? Um, and I think that's like a big part of it was like, I had went from just being a mother, you know, I've been, I, I got, I had my, my kids young, you know what I mean? So I've been a mother since I was 20 years old. And beyond that, um, yeah, I, I just really didn't have any other experience of life, you know, not, it was just such a, a, a present and, you know, forward part of my life. And, um, and I really just had even forgotten how to take care of myself, like how to think about myself, if you will. It's not like I didn't know how to do my makeup, but to really just be even concerned about how I felt or maybe what my needs were. And I needed to take this time to find myself. And that's what I've, what I've done. And I, it's not, the, I guess not find myself, but relearn how to care about myself and how, how to put myself, um, first and not, not, not to say that, you know, that I, don't put Savannah first in my life. But what I mean is, is that, <clears throat> is that to even like, <clears throat> it's, it's hard to think about, but unless you're a mom, you don't, it's like you, you stop thinking about your needs. There's just a part of you that just turns off. You know what I mean? And <clears throat> so I've started doing like some more like self care stuff. Like, um, I've started, um, I don't know if you'll like the design, but I've started getting my nails done and, um, getting pedicures and like, um, just really taking time for myself. I've, I started dating. I met someone, um, really just doing a lot of like self care that I really just was not doing before. Um, other than just the bare minimum, you know what I mean? Obviously, you know, taking a shower, but you know, just, um, you know, it was just a weird thing. It was a very, and like, and the, what sucks is like for you guys is, you know, is that you guys have been with me as I go through this like transition in life. You know what I mean? I'm going through this transition um, and it's been this constant transition. My life has changed so much. Uh, even my daughter has like grown up in front of you guys. You know, a lot of my dogs have grown up and now are growing old in front of you guys. And so there's been a lot of change and, um, and I still plan to be here for you guys. I have no intention of going away, but there are, may be times where I just, um, need 
a break. You know, I need time for myself. And that. And best know that I will um, always come back. But, um, but I definitely uh, am learning to listen to myself, listen to my body to know when I need a break. Because I haven't always been great at that. You know what I mean? I've, I've, I'm really good at working, but I'm not great at knowing when I shouldn't work. You know what I mean? Of when is it even though I can work, I shouldn't work because I I really need to be taking that time for myself, if you will. You know what I mean? And like, that's a thing for me, like learning that even though I have the ability to work till I drop that day, sorry, I should have probably paused this, but even though I have the ability to do that, to not do it, you know what I mean? To, to force myself um, to give myself time at the end of the day to watch, you know, Netflix or something like that. You know what I mean? Like to I'm forcing myself to not just work until I drop every day and, and feel that that's enough. Um, and I'm learning to, um, to be happy with who I am and not be unhappy or feel any kind of way about the fact that I, that I don't do things the same way that everybody else does. You know what I mean? Um, I've always been that way. I've always been independent, but, but secretly that like, not secretly, but simultaneously, there's always been this part of me that, um, has, you know, I think that, that in every human being, there's this want to kind of fit in or um, be like everyone else. You know what I mean? I think that that's a very natural thing. But it's like I struggle with that because on one end, it's like I don't like the feeling of being the, the um, you know, like seeing everybody else, like not everybody else, but like a lot of other YouTubers really go out of their way to market themselves and like do all this stuff and whatever and it's like oh man like I'm like I should be doing that but then but then simultaneously there's a part of me that's like nah I ain't even got the time for it because it's like I have the dogs you know and it, I feel like I feel like it, as much as I think about it I just don't know that it would even be possible you know what I mean like I don't know that that you know I could it, that it would be you know what I mean I just then I would have no free time. I would have no me time. And, um, and so anyway, so I'm always trying to, I'm really trying hard and I'm learning how to balance my, my work life balance because so far I've just been work, 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 work. And that's been great for me and I've loved it and that's been fine. But with life and stuff, it's become a thing where it's like, you can't work, 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 and then go through hard times and then work, 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 right? Like it just, you can, but eventually you start to burn out. And I think that's what they're very much what was happening to me is I was starting to burn out and I'm not burning out with the dogs because that's my job. You know what I mean? My job is the dogs. Like I don't, everyone has a job, right? And every day can't be a great day at your job. You have bad days, you have good days, but it's still my job. And I love my job, but the YouTube thing feels like, even though there's money, it feels, um, it feels optional when things get really bad. You know what I mean? Like whenever I get really tired or cause like my dogs, you know, if, if they get sick or something, like when I was dealing with that respiratory thing, move, or when my daughter was doing her, you know, normal, regular adult, you know, teenage growing process thing. It's like, um, I couldn't help. It's like, I, I love my, my kids so much that it's like, I can't not think about them. You know what I mean? It's like not possible. So I'll be doing other things, but then it's like on my mind and I worry and it's like, uh, but then you like, you know, like, nope, you're not, you know, leave them alone. Let them do their thing. Don't, don't push yourself on them. Like, you know, and it's just so hard. 
and mentally time consuming and emotional and exhausting. Um, and I found it just so difficult to balance that, you know, and, um, YouTube, you know what I mean? I can do the dogs. I can do that, but the, but YouTube just becomes harder. <laughs> the only boy out here. YouTube just becomes harder when I'm, when I'm that stressed, when I'm that tired, if that makes sense. So I hope, I hope that that is easier to understand. And like I said, I'm, you know, if things go well with this relationship of mine, you know, get to the point where it'd be a lot easier. You know, I know that with Savannah here, I feel, I know that half my mind is back with me again and not, not preoccupied with her and worrying and stuff like that. Smurf. Um, and so it makes it easier to be able to find the time to come on here, you know, but I only have so much space in my brain for, for, for things. And, um, and so anyway, so, so that is that, but no, everyone else, everyone's fine. Everything's good. There's nothing, you know, just life is normal. Um, and like I said, I'm very happy to have my daughter back. Obviously, she's an adult and she she's going to move out and she needs to move out, but I just I'm just wanting it to be on better terms now is all. So anyway, um I hope you guys are having a good day and I will talk at you later. Bye.